Hello, today I would like to talk about the distribution of time in sedimentary rocks. Sediment is transported uh, by wind or water or ice, usually along the surface of the earth. So we have some solid substrate. Um, usually this consists of sediment. And we have some process uh, or some flow that's moving that sediment. So we have a flow, and then uh, in most cases we have grains that are being transported by that flow. So we have sand grains, for example. Now the sand grains can't be deposited on anything except a solid substrate. They are transported and lifted in the flow and sultate but they only get deposited when they're sitting on a solid surface. What we end up with is grains being transported in and accumulating onto the sedimentary bed, resting on top of each other, and creating a layer. This layer, the time of deposition of this layer, is younger in the layer below it. And if this happens again, we may get another layer uh, deposited here. This one is younger than the layers underneath it. Now, one of the aspects of time in these rocks is the fact that these grains have to be pre-existing before they can be deposited. So we have older layers overlain by younger layers, but the age of the grains um, it are all older than the age of the time that the layer was first deposited. So when we're looking at sedimentary rocks, there are a number of different ways we can tell um, the ages. We can measure the age of each grain but as I just said, each grain is older than the age of the layer. So the age, and we can say, is always older than the age of the layer. If a volcano erupts with ash, there's only a very short time frame, sometimes as little as um, hours to a day between the time when the crystals in that ash layer cool and when they're deposited. And thus if you calculate and measure, measure and then calculate the age of the grains in the volcanic ash, they are very, very close to the age of the layer, although it might be a day or two older. Um, so what we really want to do to determine the absolute age of the sedimentary rocks is to find volcanic layers. We can, but even without those exact ages, we can still tell the relative age of rocks where you have older layers underlying younger layers in a consistent progression of ages. And thanks for watching.